And so let's continue and hopefully end it off on this part. Leviticus 26 and 22 again. I will send wild animals against you, and they will rob you of your children. When the Most High Yahweh says wild animals, he is speaking of the ruthless nations that, that have no fear of the Most High. These ruthless nations that they do what they want. They come up with their own laws. They try to make laws for pedophiles. All right? If in spite of these things you do not accept my correction but continue to be hostile towards me, I myself will be hostile towards you and will inflict you for your sins seven times over. And I will bring the sword on you to avenge the breaking of the covenant. When you withdraw into your cities, I will send a plague among you and you will be given into what? Into enemy hands. So that is what's going on. The people has been given over into enemy's hands. And now is when they're trying to pursue their new world order agenda. Okay? They are all a bunch of pedophiles. They're going to try to legalize pedophilia. They're going to try to legalize all of the things that the Most High Yahweh hate. Let's go ahead and show you this. For example, this is an article from Mashable.com. Wisconsin men forced to wear a GPS tracking bracelet for life. And we're just going to read this part here. Used to monitor the movements of those ranging from sex offenders to white collar criminals. GPS bracelets have attained a kind of outlaw catch it in some circles. Most notably celebrities. Such as Lindsay Lohan. You understand that? You can go ahead and find a video for yourself of Lindsay Lohan trying to steal somebody's kid and the father wind up punching her in her face. Why is that? Because she's a pedophile. Okay? That's what they do. They try to act all sweet. Oh, I was going to help them. I'm just trying to help them. No. You're mentally ill and you need to get punished by the Most High Yahweh because there is no mercy for these pedophiles. Oh, let's not forget about Ellen DeGeneres. You see that? Ankle bracelet. Why? Because she's a pedophile herself. Go ahead and do your research on all these celebrities that wear these ankle bracelets for sex offender purposes and for white collar criminals. So they wear these things. But your government still lets this person make her shows, right? They still let her or him or it because they're demons, all right? Remember that. These are demons in the form of human flesh. They are not human they're demons such as epstein's island hey ellen why does your set looks like epstein island i'll go ahead and zoom it in for those that can't really see it and so there you go this is ellen degeneres and one of her sets from her tv show and in the background it looks just like epstein's island okay so it's there for you to see for yourself. This is not a lie. This is not a conspiracy. It is the truth. Your government's the one that's trying to con you. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 23. I will heap calamities on them and spend my arrows from sacredtext.com. And here it's basically giving you the definition of demons. And so we're going to read from this part and it says the 91st psalm was composed by moses as a sort of talisman or protection against demons whom he feared when about to ascend mount sinai as putting a stumbling block in his way agris daughter of Machles, is the name of a female demon who commands a large number of associates or assistants and there is one great demon whose name is Cative. In Hebrew, arrow. The psalmist alludes to this when he says the arrow that flieth by day. This terrible demon has exceptional power between the first six and the last nine hours of the 24. His power is greatest neither in the shade nor in the sun, but in the condition betwixt sun and shade. Now we know why the Most High Yahweh says, he will heap calamity on them and spend his arrows against them. Okay? 
Deuteronomy 28 and 32, your sons and daughters will be given to another nation. People worshiping the idols of the other nations, the so-called gods of the other nations, but more over is also talking about into the hands of other nations, into the hands of other people. Okay, many people, they lose their children, you know, by these child protection services and stuff like that. And guess what? These children, they go into foster homes. And strangers, right? People wind up adopting the, these children. You know, trying to play daddy and mommy. When in reality, they have other intentions. And I'm not saying this is for everybody who goes and adopts the children. There are some people who cannot have children, so they go and adopt children. But for the most part, you also have to worry about these people out there who are not right in their mind, okay? These sex offenders who have not got caught, but they're out there playing the role of innocent being as if they're an angel, you know? They're good people, but you don't know their minds. And so the Most High Yahweh says that many people's children will be given over into other nations, and you will wear out your eyes watching for them day after day, powerless to lift a hand. Is it not true? On a spiritual note, our people are worshiping the gods of the other nations. We try to help them out, but no, they tell us that we're wrong. <laughs> we're the heathens, you know? And so, let's go ahead and now let's read. This is from the book of Noah. And we're going to read this part here, the generation of the deluge. The one tonnes of this generation was in a measure due to the ideal conditions under which mankind lived before the flood. They knew neither toil nor care, and as a consequence of their extraordinary prosperity, they grew insolent. In their arrogance, they rose up against the Most High, a single sowing bore a harvest sufficient for the needs of 40 years, and by means of magic arts, they could compel the very sun and moon to stand ready to do their service. The raising of children gave them no trouble. They were born after a few days pregnancy and immediately after birth they could walk and talk. They themselves aided the mother in severing the navel string. Not even demons could do them harm. Okay? Once a newborn babe running to fetch a light whereby his mother might cut the navel string, met the chief of the demons. So again, all in a nutshell, this is all talking about childbirth. The Most High Yahweh said back in the days, right? Before mankind, Adam, got cursed. They were able to have children. There was no such thing as miscarriages. There was no such thing as the mother dying from childbirth. That's what it means here. Where it says, once a newborn babe running to fetch a light, whereby his mother might cut the navel string, met the chief of demons. And what is that? That's talking about when a baby is being born, coming out of the womb, running to fetch a light, whereby his mother might cut the navel string, met the chief of demons, and a combat ensued between the two. Like the Most High Yahweh said in Genesis, that he will put enmity between the woman and the serpent. And that is why it says, and a combat ensued between the two. This is why nowadays many people, you know, they die from childbirth. Many mothers, rather say, all right, because we all know that only females can give birth. This is the way the Most High Yahweh made it. This is the way that it will always be, according to the Most High. And so therefore, you know, nowadays women die from childbirth. And that is all part of the curses. I said, suddenly, the crowing of a cock was heard. Now you got to keep this in mind because we're going to go back to that passage which we were reading about demons. So it says, suddenly, the crowing of a cock was heard, and the demon made off, crying out to the child, Go and report unto thy mother. If it had not been for the crowing of the cock, I had killed thee. Whereupon the children retorted, Go and report unto thy mother. If it had not been for my uncut navel, I had killed thee. Let's go ahead and continue to read this, and then we'll go back to that passage talking about the demons. And it says, It was their carefree life that gave them space and leisure for their infamies. 
for a time the Most High and his long-suffering kindness passed by the inequities of men. But his forbearance ceased when once they began to lead unchaste lives. For the Most High is patient with all sins, save only an immoral life. Okay? And let's read this part again from uh, sacredtext.com where it's given us the definition of demons according to the words of Yahweh. Okay, so here it says, with the crow of the cock announcing the approaching dawn of day, the power of demons diminished. Their power being for the most part confined to night only. Okay, so this is why the Most High Yahweh says, Though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. This is why the Most High Yahweh says that he will shield us from the arrows that fly by day. Okay? The Most High Yahweh says that we will be safe at night and not fear the demons or the wild animals. From the book of Jasher, chapter 2, verse 19. For in those days the sons of men began to trespass against the Most High and to transgress the commandments which he had commanded to Adam to be fruitful and multiply in the earth. You see all this links in with what we just read. Okay? Back in the days, women would bear children because children are a gift. You understand that? But nowadays, women are thinking twice. Some women are even proud to say, oh, I got no baggage, I got no children, I'm 30 something years old, no kids. Oh, you taking pride in that? You should be ashamed. Do you understand that? I mean, again, like I said, if it's a medical condition or if it's a situation where you can't have children, then it's different. But there's women out there who are doing these things on purpose, not having children to keep their figure. You see that? Not having children so that they can have all the money to themselves. When there are other women out there who wish they can have children. So this is what I'm trying to say. And so let's go ahead and continue to read. Verse 20. And some of the sons of men caused their wives to drink a draught that would render them barren in order that they might retain their figures. And whereby their beautiful appearance might not fade. Okay, so as we read, you know, in the book of Noah, this is what he meant. You know, they did not want to have children. I mean, looking now to this day, do you see why evil is at an all time high? Do you see why the Most High Yahweh says that he will punish the earth for their sins? Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 16. When I shoot at you with my deadly and destructive arrows of famine, I will shoot to destroy you. I will bring more and more famine upon you and cut off your supply of food. Furthermore, I will send famine and wild beasts against you and they will leave you childless. Plague and bloodshed will sweep through you and I will bring the sword against you. Ayahawah has spoken. Because why? Because the Most High Yahweh created good and evil. Okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about more of this evil that the Most High Yahweh will bring to an end and so this is an article from the mind unleashed that says teen faces life in prison for killing pedophile who sex trafficked and raped her okay again like i say we must never repay evil for evil but here this is a sad story because this girl was abused you understand that all right she cannot go on in her life because the things that she went through were stuck in her brain but she is going to get life in prison for killing her rapist. All right? Do you see any justice here? No. So this is why we only get justice with the Most High Yahweh. This is why we must watch our little ones. Because they are crazy weirdos out there. Who like to hide themselves. This is why every night at 10 o'clock news, you have a new children, a new child missing. But the Most High Yahweh says, if you believe in Him, honor His name, He will deliver you. Praise Yahweh.